Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. With Windows 8.1, you can download apps for your computing devices from the Windows Store. Note that you must be signed into your computer using a Microsoft account to download apps from the Windows Store. To download an app once you have signed in using a Microsoft account, click the Store icon within the Start screen to open the Windows Store app. Here you can browse the available apps to download. You can browse apps by category or simply review the featured apps that are displayed. You can click an app that is shown within the Windows Store to read more about the selected app. On the app page shown, you can click the Back button in the upper left corner to return to the last page shown. You can also read general information about the app and scroll to the right to read the details and ratings and reviews of the app. You can also see related apps that others have purchased. To download the app, click the Buy, Try, or Install buttons located in the upper left side of the page. Free apps will typically just show the Install button, and paid apps will often show the Buy or Try buttons. The Try button will allow you to install a trial version of the app, which you can later purchase if you want to keep. You can also click the Buy button to buy and download the app immediately. You will need to provide some form of payment to download and purchase a paid app. Be sure to read the Terms of Use and any additional terms by clicking those hyperlinks before making purchases from the Windows Store app. Note that the apps that you buy are licensed, not sold, for you to use. Typically, this license includes the ability to install and use the apps on up to 81 Windows 8.1 computing devices. However, you should always read the terms of use from each individual app provider, which may vary. After selecting an app to install, you will see your download and installation information temporarily appear in the upper right corner of the screen. After your app has been downloaded and installed, a message box will appear on screen informing you of that fact. You can then close the Windows Store app by clicking at the top of the app window and then dragging the app all the way to the bottom of the screen. Also note that the Windows Store will also provide updates to the apps installed on your computer. These updates can occur automatically or you can prefer them manually. To enable automatic app updates, open the Windows Store app and then open the charm bar by rolling to the upper right or lower right corners of the screen. Then click the settings button within the charm bar to see the settings panel for the Windows Store app. Click the app updates command to display the app updates screen. You can then set the automatically update my apps toggle switch to the yes position to automatically download and install updates for all of your apps on that computer. If this switch is set to the No position, you must manually update your apps. Note that you can click the Check for Updates button in this screen to check for any available app updates. If there are any updates available, they will be shown in this screen. You can then select the updates to install and then click the Install button that appears at the bottom of the screen to install the updates manually. After you have finished updating your apps, you can then click the back arrow in the upper left corner of the window to return to the previous screen in the Windows Store app. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.